Hello and welcome to another RPG Maker VX Ace uh, tutorial. I'm just planning on going through the uh, event setup as best as I can. Um, I don't know <clears throat> things. I don't know uh, how to do everything you see. So um, I'll just be showing you what I do and and don't know. <laughs> so you obviously have your name of the event, which um, <clears throat> is. Uh, It's always important to make sure you fill these out, really, uh, or at least try to remember to as much as possible. Oops. Um, <clears throat> just so uh, makes it easier for you later on if you do go back and make any changes. Uh, keeps things a bit more organised as well. So, uh, so we have the conditions. As you can see, they do have boxes next to them, which does tell you what they're um, for. Um, and basically, uh, the conditions are there to make sure that uh, certain things are done uh, to make the event active um, and to and uh, the event do to do different things as well uh, so also you have the graphic We've already been through this previously um, and as you know it's just the um, just what it looks like basically what you'll see uh, so uh, if you're making a basic NPC though this one's evil but never mind um, then obviously you'd want some uh, movement going on. I just put random movement, which is uh, just like a NPC in a city or something. You'd do for that. Um, that's not really that important for this one. Um, but basically, it lets you. Oh, that's right. It lets you do. Um, it's for your player to, uh, to basically. If you want to make cutscenes and stuff with events, then that's more useful. Uh, priority is to do with where it appears on the map. It's a little bit difficult, I suppose. Uh, if priority is the same as characters, it means it runs on the same level as a character's. Uh, as in, um, <coughs> as in, below characters being underground, like under their feet. So that would be uh, if you wanted grass or or a trap or something. Um, above characters is something that's happening above the heads. Uh, same as characters is ground level basically uh, and then you've got the trigger so this is what triggers the event so if it's action button that means the character has to um, actually uh, press uh, I suppose interact with the graphic uh, player touch means it just has to touch it or walk over it um, event touch that is if another event walks over it so once again, that's for making more cutscene type things. Auto run that runs as soon as you enter the uh, area and parallel process that. Uh, what does that one do? Perform processing when the event is present. Uh, 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 oh, okay. It lets you do more than one, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it does. As uh, so here you have all the event commands, and they're all pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, you just have to fiddle around with them yourself to uh, decide how to uh, how to use them. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is just very quickly making a a uh, a battle person type thing. Um, whoops. <laughs> I don't know why a zombie would be saying that, but um, and obviously that will appear when the action button is clicked, and then uh, start a battle uh, process. <laughs> Not gonna win that battle. Um, yeah, can't. No, can't escape. And as you can see, because you've picked that they can carry on, that means you can have different events happen if you win and uh, and if you lose. So, um, what do I normally do now? Um, actually, I'm not going to do. We're not going to be winning. So, for the purposes of this, I'm just going to uh, uh, create something different. So, what do I want? Uh. Mm 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to do. Um, there we go. Oh, that's not right. No, oh, dear. Ah, there we go. Show animation. See, I know I'd. Uh, I know I'd get it. Then I'm going to Oh, why can't I not find it? I want to uh, raise the e event. Yeah, I'm sorry it hasn't been so good. I haven't I should have really just made it before, but I want to show me actually um <clears throat> just making it so it'd be a little bit more uh, <clears throat> real life, I suppose. Uh, I've not put the sound still off as well, but it's obviously more for the uh, to show you this. Uh, so if I'm fighting the demon god, and obviously there's absolutely no chance that uh, I can win this anyway. So oh, it's not done as much damage as I thought it would do. Oh, okay, but yeah, um, it's taken no damage anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Okay. I think it might be maybe just game over now. Uh, we'll defend. Yep. <coughs> well, I'm sorry that didn't last very long, but that's what we expected to happen. And um, yeah, so that's what I don't know. You can do all sorts of different things uh, that you want. I base just did that as it being destroyed, and then uh, obviously you might have want to have some text come afterwards that says. Uh, God speaking and saying I have vanquished your foes or something I don't know uh, as, as I say it's up to you you can do so many different things with um, VX Ace and using the eventing that it, it really is up to you and it uh, really is worth playing around with as well <clears throat> uh, so there you go I've gone through the eventing very quickly just explaining a couple of things and showing you how to make a, a strange but simple one uh, once again if you do have any questions regarding it I will obviously try my best to answer them um, <clears throat> it's not always easy because obviously I'm no expert at this um, but I have spent a lot, a lot of time playing around with it so most of it is my trial and error that I've realised how to do it um, so there's no reason why uh, anyone else can't do it at all um, but thank you very much for uh, tuning in and hopefully you'll enjoy and I'll be doing some more tutorials in the future so thank you everyone and goodbye